Okay, so now for this delicious crispy oven fried chicken. Well, the first thing I did was I brined the chicken. I put it in cold water with some kosher salt and I let it brine for about six hours. The next thing I'm gonna do is season it. Put some Lori's seasoned salt. That was about a tablespoon and a half. Garlic powder. That was about a teaspoon. Then I'm gonna put some ground black pepper. About a teaspoon. Next, I'm gonna use some Montreal chicken seasoning, but this is optional. That was about a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna add some Sasson Goya Con Cilantro y Acciodi seasoning. And I'm gonna use two of those. I have about 12 pieces of chicken legs and thighs. Next, I'm gonna put some red hot hot sauce, but you could use any kind of hot sauce you like. And you could put it to taste, like whatever amount of hot sauce you like. Next, I'm gonna crack one egg. I'm just going to mix it around and distribute it evenly, which is hard in this smaller bowl. I should have used a bigger bowl, but it'll be okay. Make sure I get the pieces on the bottom. Woo! I used a lot of hot sauce, didn't I? That's all right, it'll be spicy. There's no kids eating it. And I'm gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and cover it. I'm gonna sit it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for about three and a half hours. <laughs> So now I'm not measuring anything because I do everything by sight, but I can give you an estimate on the measurements. I'm gonna take some panko breadcrumbs. I put about a cup and a quarter of panko breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna put some all-purpose flour in it. Now you don't want to put too much flour because flour tends to burn in the oven. So I put about a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now I'm still gonna put a little seasoned salt in, in the uh, flour mixture because you want a little taste on the outside of your chicken. So I put, I would say that was about three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm gonna put some of this lemon pepper seasoning in it. I put about a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Then I'm gonna put some smoked paprika in it for color, for flavor, for that nice smoke flavor. I put about three quarters of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now all you have to do is shake it up. So now I've let the chicken marinate overnight 
And now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this Dijon mustard in it. And I'm gonna just mix the Dijon mustard in. And what that does is it helps the flour and breadcrumb mixture to adhere to the chicken or to stick to the chicken. Just making sure everything is evenly coated. Now I'm going to pour a little olive oil into the chicken. And that helps everything crisp up into a nice fried chicken. And it's going to make everything fry up to a nice crispy oven fried chicken. Now I, cook a, I took a flat baking sheet. Or you could use an aluminum pan. You could use whatever you want. And I'm gonna just take some pieces of chicken, put it into the mixture. I'll let you see how that looks. Or you could take all of it at one time. I'm just gonna do one half at a time. And I'm gonna shake it. Just like you do when you're making regular fried chicken. And make sure it's thoroughly coated. And just sit it on the pan. This is going to be really, really good and nice and crunchy and crispy. Now you just put it in the oven on 350 and cook it for about 50 minutes or until it's golden brown and it looks done. So this is what it's looking like, folks. Nice crispy oven fried chicken. I can't wait to crunch into it with my teeth. 